Okay then gang, so now we know a little bit more about hooks, we've used a couple of them. Now I'd like to come full circle back to the context API and see how we can use React hooks with context. So to do this, I've gone back to the context app over here and we can view that in the browser over here. So we're going to start to consume context using React hooks now. So at the minute we have these two contexts, auth and theme, and then we consume those in these different components. So I'm going to come to this book list component first of all, and we can see that we consume the context right here using context type. Now, if we were to use a functional component, we can't use this method of consuming context. We can't do that in a functional component, only class components. So what if we wanted to turn this into a functional component and use the context? Well, we can do that and we can do it with the help of the use context hook. So the first thing I'm gonna do is import that up here, use context. So this is just another function, a hook, that we can use inside a functional component. Now I'm gonna rewrite this component in a functional way, using a functional component, and then we're gonna use this hook right here to consume the context inside it. So I'm gonna keep this here for reference for now, and come down here, and the snippet for a functional component is SFC tab. This is gonna be called book list again, and then inside, we still want to return ultimately the same JSX right here. So let's copy all that and paste it inside here. Oops, like so. So we have all that. The next thing I want to do is use this hook to consume a context inside this functional component because like I said, we can't use this inside a functional component. By the way, we could use the consumer like this inside a functional component, but I think using this hook, use context, is much cleaner. So how do we use this? Well, all I'm gonna do is come down here and I'll say use context and then pass in the context that we want to use. Well, we imported that right here, theme context. So let me copy that and paste it in right here. So we're saying here we want to use this context. Now then, this is gonna provide us with that context object with all of these different properties on it. So everything in this.state, all these properties, and also this toggle theme. So what we could do is destructure those from this, and we'll do that, we'll say const, and the things we want are the is, oops, not outside, inside, is light theme, we also want light, and we also want dark. So let's set that equal to use context. So now we're just grabbing these properties from this thing. So it's very much like this right here, okay? But this time we're just using a hook to get that context object and we're destructuring these different properties from that context object. So now we have those, we can also do this bit of logic right here to find out the theme. So I'll copy that and paste it down here. So still we're just evaluating is light theme and then returning either light or dark depending on that Boolean for the theme. And then we're just using those properties to output some different colors on these different UI elements. And that's all there is to it. That's all we need to do to use context now inside a functional component. How easy was that? And this is much cleaner. It looks much nicer than this, even though it's only a couple of lines shorter. And I think even against this one, when we use consumers, this to me sometimes looks a little messy, but this over here, very simple, very clean. So what I'm gonna do is delete one of these. We don't need to export it twice. And I'm also gonna delete this old class component. We don't need that anymore. And we don't need components up here either. So let me save this. I'm gonna cross my fingers now and hope this works. So let's go to the browser and see this. Okay, that's a good first sign. Nothing's changed and I don't expect anything to change. I just still want it to work because the functionality should be exactly the same as before. All we need to do is see if the toggle theme button works and voila, it does. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That's how we can use context inside a functional component using the use context hook and that is freaking awesome.